form of techno herald online in this lecture we are going to start our third and last module of mathematics 3 that is the partial differential equations so in partial differential equations we will study three topics the formation of partial differential equation the solution of partial differential equation and finally the application of partial differential equation so in the first lecture we will start with the formation of partial differential equations and also we will see the general solution of partial differential equations so let us start this lecture so my dear students up to here in mathematics 3 we have completed our two modules the probability and the probability distributions today i am going to start the third and last module partial differential equations the simplest of all three why because in probability and probability distribution there are at least some theory this topic is purely numerical topic you just have to solve the equations and find the answer no nothing theory is there only you have to remember one two rules and we will do the numerical so this module i have divided in three parts the first part i will be telling you in partial differential equation i we will be discussing the formation of partial differential equations formation of partial differential equations second then we will do solution of solution of partial differential equations by various methods various methods fine if various methods may be method of multiplier or some other method the third we will do the application what is the actual use of partial differential equation so the application of application of partial differential equation mainly the use we have to study in mathematics here is wave equation and heat equation otherwise in electrical engineering branch you will be using partial differential equation to solve the jacobians in power systems the jacobians are some large matrix with parameters in which lots of partial differential terms are there and and in many other applications we will use partial differential equation in electrical engineering i know about electrical engineering because i belong to electrical branch otherwise here in m3 in our syllabus we have to study the application of partial differential equation in forms of wave equation and heat equation so let us start the first topic the first thing we will be doing is the formation of partial differential equation before that let us let us study the denotations what is denoted by what in partial differential equation so let let us consider z is equal to f of x and y where where x and y are kya yahan pe jo rehta hai wo kya hota hai independent parameters independent variables independent variables and z here is z kya hai z x aur y pe depend kar raha hai to z kya hai mera dependent variable z is my dependent variable here so if z is equal to f of x y then first uh let me write it here okay i will write it here only first is partial differentiation uh, partial differentiation of z with respect to x is equal to 
P. This is denoted by P. Next, do y do z by do y. This is not read as del. This is read read as do d o do. This is not del. This is do. Del is written like this, na? Del is written like this, and do is written like this only. These two are different things. Delta denotes the change. Do denotes the partial differentiation. Third, this is this is second is q. So do z by do y is denoted by q. Third, do square z by do x square is denoted by r. Fourth, do square z by do x do y is denoted by s. And the fifth and last is do square. Batao kya hoga? Do square z by do square y bach gaya. And do y square, and this is denoted by p q r s t. This is my t. So throughout this chapter, we will be using these denotions invariably in place of the LHSs. Fine. So let us start our first topic, which is the formation of partial differential equation. So there is no theory to elaborate here. Just we will understand everything using only and only and only numericals. So let us do the formation of partial differential equation. I am mean, erasing this part. This is very important. I hope you have copied. If you have not copied, then. Please pause the video at that moment and copy it. So first we will form differential equation 